It's Friday, April 28, 2006, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, and thanks for not voting me off the show for yet another week. It is our Friday Week in Review show, so let's get to my favorite stories from this past week. Our top story, a new poll reveals that Americans prefer to legalize illegal immigrants that are already here in the United States. Of course, the poll was given in 18 different languages. And now it's time for your War on Terror update. There's a new audio tape released by Osama Bin Laden. What's new about this? It's available for downloading on iTunes for 99 cents. And the returns are in. The election for the new mayor of New Orleans happened over the weekend. Mayor Ray Nagin, the incumbent, received the most votes, but there's going to be a runoff. But the question is, how did our favorite candidate do? The crazy Kimberly Williamson Butler, who tried to pawn off a picture of Disneyland as New Orleans on her website. She came in eighth place, but she didn't feel too bad because she trailed only Doc, Sleepy, Dopey, Happy, Grumpy, Sneezy, and the one everyone forgets, Bashful. Here's a story about sexual harassment. This one involves Maury Povich as the alleged perpetrator. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Poor Connie. Povich is being sued by a former staffer who alleges Povich inflicted $100 million in sexual harassment damages. What you do to inflict that kind of damage, I have no idea. Povich agreed to let the case go to trial just as long as it's heard by Judge Judy. Over the weekend, a new Miss USA was crowned in the pageant that's now owned by Donald Trump. Here you can see the winner, Miss Kentucky, strutting her wares in the talent competition. The runner-up was Miss California, who did receive the title of Mrs. Donald Trump. This news from Kevin Costner's honeymoon. Yes, he's having another honeymoon and uh, things didn't go exactly as planned. He was getting a massage in a luxury hotel and he decided allegedly to remove his towel, much to the masseuse's surprise. She complained. Apparently Costner performed some sort of a sex act, although it's not clear on whom. One can only assume it was on himself since the masseuse didn't mention being sexually assaulted. Although when she complained to hotel management, they fired her. So Summarily, Mr. Costner, on his own behalf, said he was just getting into character for a new film he's working on called Dances with Wood. And finally, it is our news quiz question. This one is about Exxon, the huge energy company. They just posted $8 billion in profit for the first quarter of 2006. The question is, what are they going to do with all that money? A. Buy themselves a couple more congressmen. B. Hookers for everyone. Or C, three words, Alaska National Refinery. Well, that's the ointment for another week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Have a great weekend, everybody.